Okay, this is all I expect that to be done. Um, use the two-wheel cart to bring it over here. The cap remains on it until it's in place and the chain is here to secure it to the cart. We can remove the safety cap. And then we'll install our regulators. Um, what's that? I have one. So, you may, once you get it on here, you may need to turn the tank to get it to where the regulators point in a manner in which you can read it. Um, and then, just snug it up. You don't have to get crazy with it. It doesn't have to be ridiculously tight. Um, once again, we are going to uh, wear some sort of safety gear. Uh, we'll start with a welding jacket. Um, once, like I said the other day, most of you are wearing cotton. Uh, cotton is extremely flammable or melts very easily. So we'll put on a welding jacket that will help uh, protect our clothing and so forth. Um, these face shields seem to work the best. They're a tinted face shield. We do have goggles if you prefer to wear those, but these seem to work better. You'll also be wearing your safety glasses underneath these. The goggles, the way they fit your face, you will not be able to wear your safety glasses, but uh, a safety shield. Um, and then naturally, gloves. This is probably, outside of the safety shield, this is probably the most important. Um, our hands are gonna be very close to the cutting area. Um, so the chances of sparks coming up and hitting our hands is very, very likely. the other day, what's the first things we got to do? What's that? Baby coral. Baby So we're going to come over here, turn this on real slow. How far do we turn this on? A quarter to half a turn. Why? So in the event that we need to shut the fuel source off in a hurry, we can do it quickly and we don't have to turn it a whole bunch of times. What are these things right here? Lead. Lead, quartz, what are they for? Fires. In case of fire, if this thing gets super hot, they'll melt out, they'll let the gas um, release out of there and hopefully prevent any kind of explosion scenario. Then we come over to this one. What did the video tell us to do? Look away. Look away. Yeah, look away, get an arm's length, right? Then what? Real slow. Once we get it open, then we can open up. How far do we open this one? All the way. All the way. Okay, now that we got our tanks on, what's next? What's that? Set the regulators. Set our regulators, right? And when we're setting our regulators, we gotta watch what gauge? The when it's on the hose side, right? So, um, what are we gonna set our? Seven. 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 And that's PSI. If you look at these closely, we have KPA and PSI. On this gauge here, in the white area, the outside area is KPA, the inside red area is PSI. And what are we going to set our uh, acetylene to? Seven. Seven. So we're going to turn this up, five, six, seven. Good. Same thing over here. Watch the gauge that is on the um, hose side or furthest from the tank. Um, same type of gauge setup. We have KPA and PSI, PSI being in the center. What do we turn this one to? 20. 20. 20 PSI. All right, tanks are on, uh, regulators are set. We're good to come down to the fire portion. All right. Before we start our fire, we're going to uh, get some gloves on our hands. Um, now, these gloves are pretty good, but they are a little cumbersome, they are a little big, and you're gonna bump the knobs and do different things. You may have to light it several times, that's all right. So, <clears throat> on our torch head, before I light this, we're gonna 
talk about this for a little bit. On our torch head, we have our red hose here and our green hose. This is um, our acetylene and our oxygen. And if we look real close here, there's an F and an O for fuel and oxygen. And then this up here is an, also an oxygen adjust. And then we have this lever here for the slag. The lever controls the oxygen coming out of where on the tip? The, the center one. And if we look at this real closely, we can see that the center hole is the largest of all the holes. Get in here, if you've never seen this, get in here and take a look at this. So you can see what you're doing, or have an idea of what I'm talking about. Okay, that hole in the center is strictly to, move, to remove the slag that we're cutting. The rest of the holes are what are going to control the flame and control the temperature. So, this is what I suggest. On a three valve system, two of the valves are oxygen. We're going to make sure they're all off. And then the bottom oxygen, open it all the way. Once we get it open, we don't need to crank this thing um, wide open. We also don't need to crank them right down shut. When we close them, simply close them. That's all we need. No more than that. Should be able to do this very easily with our fingers. We start really reefing down on these and it's going to cause us to have issues. So um, we're going to start with this oxygen valve all the way open, this one closed, and our acetylene closed. Now, acetylene only flame. We will use sparkers. We are not using lighters or, or live flame of any sort to light these things. Okay, we're going to open up our acetylene and then quickly light it. We don't want a bunch of acetylene to escape through the air. You notice right away that the flame is not touching the tip, right? It's probably a good quarter inch distance there. We're going to bring this down so it starts to touch the tip and then we'll adjust the oxygen. Now, acetylene only, bring it down to the flame is touching the tip, then bring your oxygen on. You can see nice sharp flames, those little blue flames in there, right? They're very defined. You can, you can see every single one of them, correct? Okay, that's what we should be able to see. If we do not see one for every hole, we know that it's plugged and that we got to shut the torch down and clean it. Um, this is what we should see, nice defined points. The larger the tip, the larger the flame. This is a very small tip, very small flame. Also listen to it, it has a distinct sound to it. We hit the lever for the oxygen, the flame doesn't go away. Now, in the video he showed getting very, very comfortable. Depending on if you're right hand and left hand and so forth, you're going to get very comfortable. Um, I'll use this as a demonstration of this piece of steel here. Once again, we don't want to be way up here. We don't want to be right down like that either. Okay? Um, we get too close to our work, we're just going to put the torch out. Uh, we're too far away, we're not going to get good heat penetration. So, we want just the tips of the little tiny flames touching our work. Also, what was something that he did in the video? Cradle it. What else did he say he normally does? A couple dry runs. And he'll get comfortable. Okay, how am I going to do this? A couple dry runs to make sure that he's in the right, uh, has the right feel for it. Um, also, I'm going to cut from right to left, so I'm going to tilt the torch a little bit so we're leading it, meaning we're going to be pushing that heat out in front of it, it's going to help us cut. This becomes even more particular the thicker the steel you have because it's going to take more heat to cut it. Now, get nice and comfortable. Well, as soon as it starts to melt, we start seeing the orange bubbling, then we can hit the lever 
to push the slag out of the way. In the event that we hit the lever too soon, it's going to cool our cut. Um, and this, those types of things take a little bit of time. Oxygen, correct? All right, we made our cut. Once again, I urge you in being careful using the gloves. I didn't put much heat to this, so I'm fairly safe. Um, what all of you are going to do for lab purposes, we have a lot of these pieces of steel. I'm going to have you start out with small, thin pieces of steel like this because one, they're easier to cut, and we have a lot of them. And then later on, you are going to weld them back together during our welding portion. So all of you will party, your lab will strictly be to set the torches up, make the cut, and shut the torches down. Now, let's talk about shutting the torches down. We've already shut our flame off, right? What do we need to do next? What's that? Shut off the tanks. How are we gonna do that? Baby for all. Baby for all, we're gonna come over, turn off our acetylene, Turn off our oxygen. Okay, we can come over here and we're gonna watch the gauges. I can hit the lever here to let the oxygen out. Oxygen is, it's oxygen is what's around us. We're, we don't have to worry about safety reason to let that out. Okay, gauges are, both the gauges are down, right? We bled everything from right here, right here at the bell all the way out. Now, the one thing different from the video that I'm going to show you that I would prefer you to do is we're going to bring on our acetylene. We'll let it burn it right off. We notice that the gauges are going down, the flame's going down. Okay, um, then we can shut all the valves off on the torch handle.